What's up everybody, welcome to another Me Time Gamer video. Hopefully you guys are going well. Me, I'm going fantastic. Uh, today I'm here to introduce the first video in my new series that I would like to do. A series I wasn't supposed to do at the beginning, but I decided I, I wanted to try to do it. So, this series is going to be called, well the playlist on YouTube, on my channel, will, will be called uh, Me Time Gamer P Talks. So it's going to be uh, trailer rewinds, uh, anything, reviews, products, stuff I want to talk about, or... Um, all, always about video games, of course. So the first game in this, uh, the first trailer actually in this series will be the follow trailer that came out on Wednesday, June June fourth or th uh, June third. So uh, if you guys didn't know, the trailer came out. Well, what I'll do first is I'll go through the trailer with you guys, uh, making showing points in the trailer itself, talking. Uh, uh, what's new? What's blah blah blah? And those kind, and then I'll go to theories I might have ha I might have uh, about the game. So hopefully you guys will enjoy, and uh, let's get started. So of course we start off by the 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 usual um, uh, Fallout type uh, opening. You had the same opening sort of uh, in Fallout and um, uh, Fallout Three in New Vegas, where you the f Fallout New Vegas was a. Uh, the, the radio it came out of and it came out of the radio and in the bus and you and then uh, in New Vegas you had the um, if I remember New Vegas it was the uh, the, uh, the grave uh, first song you hear in, in the trailer it's uh, it's all over but the crying by Ink Spot traditional music from the game 1950s era type music with the design of the game um, you get your Mr. Handy you usually get in the game, uh, like every other game that's holding a sugar bomb, which is very prominent in the game at, uh, in, uh, in the third in New Vegas. Um, in this shot, of course, you get dog meat. Uh, they're calling him dog meat, but it could be any dog. I'm pretty sure it's pretty probably going to be him. Um, so if we keep going on the trailer, nice switch between um, uh, after post uh, nuclear attack and pre uh, nuclear attack hopefully it's not lagging too much so of course the narrator that's talking right now it's the uh, same um, same narrator from all the game it's Ron Perlman and you'll get the famous line right about here what never changes and of course the nice th this is the part I like it has super nice graphics uh, the vault at the when the door opens and you get your a lot of the Boston, uh, there you got uh, the, it's going a bit fast, but you get a, a shot of um, uh, the Boston, some of Boston monuments, because the game will be taking place in Boston, and um, you got a, 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 you had the mysterious stranger looking there guy, and uh, Bromets, Protectron, uh, Deck Claws, and uh, EDE a bit, and so we keep going with more Boston monuments, vault action there. Nuclear attack. This is fun because we never saw it in the other games before. So this is a fun aspect of seeing what what happens in game. This is all in game, right? Keep that in mind. So we got this awesome little uh, sort of sort of upbeat going. Uh, I have a theory about this this part right here that I'll talk a bit about later. But uh, then of course the big reveal at the end. Let's go, pal. Boom. And the big reveal Fallout 4 New Vegas. Fallout 4. Sorry, not New Vegas. <laughs> all right. So, so far for the trailer, pretty good, pretty straightforward for the, um, for the trailer so far. So you got the voice, uh, for, for the voice actor, if we go back and listen to just that part at the end, if you listen to the tone, and a lot of people think it sounded a lot like, uh, Troy Baker, and if you listen, we'll listen to it again, just so you guys can check it out. Oh, just missed it there. Let's go, pal. It has, it has a good tone to him, like trying to compare if you listen to him when he does podcasts and stuff like that he has the same tone of that voice but that's one theory some a lot some uh, some uh, more well-known video uh, like uh, media outlets say it might not be him because they actually talk to him and stuff like that but I compare comp comparing him to other uh, videos he's made he's made before and stuff like that it does sound a lot like him so we'll keep going I got a couple of theories that I want to talk about uh, I think the first one I'm going to talk about is probably the longest. It's uh, about the protagonist uh, actually in the game. So the first, uh, first part we'll see, I'll just show you pictures of the protagonist himself at the beginning there at around here. We'll get a shot of the man here. 
So keep him in mind. Keep that what I what I keep referencing to is just look at his hair, his haircut, his face structure, and we'll see that what as we prog as we progress into the video. So we also see him a bit here, right right before the explosion. Right there, we see him with his wife and his kid that we saw the picture the part right before, and then we see him as at the ending there. So we see him right here. Here's a little bit less obvious because you don't really see him, but you see he's got that sort of haircut as the same. Well, the first the first two we can ob obviously it's the same. That we can obviously say it's the same guy, the same haircut, the same, the baby, the the wife. It's the same. We can we can definitely say it's the same guy. But here, it could be the same guy. Some theories. Um, uh, one of the theories uh, uh, that I heard on the internet so far is. Uh, we might s sort of what happened if if it, we we do take in theory that this is the same guy, uh, maybe cryogenics was involved. Um, what's the other theory? Uh, what I what I was thinking about it was might be a shorter timeline. So all the other all the other fallouts usually uh, they're like um, the nuclear attack takes place in 2077. If we go through the whole. Uh, the whole uh, Fallout universe uh, story and all that stuff. So usually all the other games are like, um, I think the first one of the first is twenty one fifty, and then it goes on from there. So it's, it's about a hundred years after the events, more or less. So, so saying that the guy saying it's the short timeline, it is possible, but it might not be as possible as we might think because it radiate the, the radiation and all that. But we won't get into too much technical. But the other part that I wanted to show you was so right here, right right before. So we got the vault here that's open. Definitely the opening of a vault we can see. So when we see here, this is the same place, the same place, but uh, before, just before, a couple of seconds before the uh, the bomb attack. So what we see, we see the man and the wife and the kid. And what this is, if you look at the, the couple seconds before, right before it. You see it's open there and then after that in this video it's not but they're both standing right on top of it so my theory there for me is sort of like maybe at th this point they sort of drop down or the door opens or stuff like that it might they might drop just in time or something like this cookie theory because the bombs coming in way too fast it might not be true but that's that's one way I try to try to um, to think that that theory is possible that we're playing the protagonist from before and after that might explain because um, the part where um, uh, the, the game is all in engine right so it's all in gameplay there's it's not a cinematic trailer it's not uh, pre-rendered in a, like a CG or anything like that it's actual in game so the, the fact that they took the time to define all the details of the pre pre bomb events might actually suggest that we might be playing right before the bombs and then after which would be cool that would be a cool aspect of the game that they we never did before which would be really awesome to see um so saying that saying here at the end where he kn at the end where he already where he knows we'll call him dogly just for just to facilitate the things here but right here we see when he meets, he meets, so he sees the dog. The dog seems to know him very much. So this is not their first encounter. We can take that for, for granted because a wild dog that hasn't seen somebody in days and weeks and months is probably very, very hungry and very cautious of all those things like an animal would. So if we take into consideration here at the beginning when we go back, if we consider that this is the same guy, if we take into consideration this is the same man and maybe he already owns this dog before. If this the man, if this is the same guy to solidify, solidify our, our theory here, this man here ha does have a bowl for his dog, so this might be his dog. So thus, sort of defining that if it is a shorter timeline, uh, this might be possible. If like he come, he's able to come out with like a couple months, a couple years after. This might be his dog, like rummaging around, or he brought him in the vault, which I highly doubt he was in the vault, but this dog might have found a, s a place where he, he wasn't affected by the bomb, but this, it's a bit of, with a, of a weird theory, because, like, he probably didn't, he would be more, to use a less vulgar term, he wouldn't be as screwed up, he would be way more screwed up than he looks now in this, 
So um, this is that's another my theory, another another reason why I think this dog probably is this man's uh, uh, dog from the past. It's because in this scene here we see the dog sniffing the 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 the, the, the crib toys, which is kind of weird if you think about it. I never saw a dog do that. I have a dog and he never did that before. She never did that before, but this seems to me like probably he she he knows the toys or something like that or something like that. That's a weird theory I have. That this dog might have, have nothing to do with the man itself. So, for the protagonist being the same guy, we never know. Uh, that's one of the theories. I don't know if it made sense for you guys. I, I went back and forth here. See, this, really, really looking at him, he looks a lot like the, the other guy from before. So, that's my theory on that. And Like I said, I don't know if that made any sense to you guys, but hopefully it did a bit. But, uh, so, okay, the next thing I wanted to just point out, this really... It's really far-fetched. The other ones, well, one of them, uh, was right about at 148. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention where I say, like, this could be the same man. I totally forgot about that part. Yeah, where we see him, when we see them. Where they're standing on top of the vault, where this is the vault door, because we saw it right in the scene before. What that makes me think is when we... So we go back there, if we look at the entrance... Right, when we got the vault door opening, you see how I think pretty sure this looks like it's it's going up. Then you see here he's going upwards when he's coming out, which it looks exactly like the 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 video the image right before. So that's another theory of mine, same same protagonist here that we see. So I think that I'm gonna leave it for there for the protagonist. That's an, that's one thing. Uh, the other thing I wanted to check out was. Uh, Right here, we got Mysterious Stranger I was talking about earlier. Might, maybe, maybe not. It looks a lot like him. If you guys played the other versions of the Fallout games, you'll see, you'll notice him. Protecton. So I'm just trying to find that other part. Where, right here. Now here, one of my theories is actually pretty weird because we we've seen that this is the vertebrate from Fallout 3. I don't think it was in Fallout New Vegas. No, it wasn't. Uh, but my theory about this is maybe we'll be able to use it. Would would be cool because we never had any vehicles. If I remember, no vehicles in the in the in the, in the 3D world of uh, in the uh, Fallout 3 in New Vegas. I never played the first and second. Well, I played a bit in the first one, but I never got through it. So I don't know if there was actual vehicles in those ones. Which well, and they're also totally different games. So that would be fun to write it. There seemed to be when you look at the HD video. My video doesn't look quite HD, but when you look at this, the, you can see there's a lot more detail in the interior. So that might suggest maybe we're able to go inside and maybe not necessarily fly it but maybe get transport to it in like a sort of fast travel there probably will be fast travel and vast like the other games so who never know that wasn't one of my theory and I think the other one that caught my eye was at the end uh, well this whole sequence here right at the end boom boom so I watched just a for reference there, I've watched this video about 20 times already, so I I know all, almost every little detail. Some some of the more uh, location stuff, like the Boston monuments and stuff like that, it's a bit lost on me because I'm, I don't know that area. So some of the monuments, I don't know. I don't, that's why I don't talk about them a lot. Other bigger sites from the U.S. will talk about it because they know it more than me. So so one of my theories on this spot here, like you see here, you get the, uh, this is probably... I don't want to get fully uh, Fallout nerd here, but this is probably what looks like the earlier version of the model, which uh, I think it's a T45 model, but this has been retrograded with some modifications to it. Uh, compare like this, I think this uh, this one here looks more like it's original, and this one's more like a, a skeleton, more like where he, where our protagonist might be able. So that my theory was, there's so much stuff in this base right here that this. I, my theory was that we might be able to, this might be his home base, which would be kind of cool, but because, can you imagine just walking around, if you played new uh, Fallout, if you played uh, all the, under of the the other two Fallout games, you'll you'll know that there's no locations where, you're, where you'll find uh, all the laser rifles, the bobblehead, the a chain gun, and uh, the comics, and I know this is probably just for aesthetic wise, but you'll find a suit, which this looks cool because it looks like somebody's working on it. Is this part of the plot story, of the plot? 
where you have to rebuild the suit to go do something or that kind of stuff you never know but my theory is that what we like in fallout 3 we had we were able to use bases of all not bases you had a house where you can somewhat customize but you just buy all the upgrades and that was it right but who knows maybe in this this game compared to new vegas and fallout 3 be able to build a base have a home base where you can customize weapon storage all those things which would be pretty cool because that's always fun in a game where you can actually where there's a place you can go and take a breather and all that so that's pretty a fun interesting object because yeah finding a location where you have all these awesome guns here uh, uh, the the suit and the, a rail gun and the way it's set up it looks like it's a base where you customize stuff and really cool I hope there's um, like a night in LA slow garage here um, one thing that sort of breaks the theory is this man just walking the, the guy's just walking beside it but if if we take into con consideration that this is his f is like he's known him for a while and he takes this the, the this like the time to stop there and just wait beside the suit and then he hears them coming my means that there's their base and he's just looking around trying to find stuff so that's about it for this video I think of I've, I've explained most of what I want that ending is so good there like to be what comparing it to other videos from from the fallout series it's actually a pretty good one especially like a lot of people even especially me was thinking that it would have done like a um, just like a couple minute trailer where you can you know a couple sex or a couple second trailer where you where they're only showing like uh, like a, the the logo when uh, more at E3 because they they will they will have a big this will probably be a big part in E3, so that's gonna be fun to see. Um, I always like I always like looking at the part, especially this this part has such such nice vibrant colors. It's always nice, and you see here the kids going towards the vault because this is where the vault is located, the vault 111 probably, which would make pretty much sense if we consider that the other man is the same man, all over the place and. Hopefully that theory made sense. To me, it made sense. I don't know if I explained it properly. One 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 thing also I'd like to s explain is one one part that always catches my eye is this part right here. Uh, I'll put the H I'll put the link to the full video if you didn't see it. But like, go to this part here and watch it in HD if you're able to. And it just the vib the vibrant colors of it is so fun to look at. I like it very much. And uh, that's why that's where I saw like, wow, these graphics are. A lot nicer than the previous of course they are because this is only going to be on the ps4 xbox one and the pc so the graphics are nice they're not now one one thing one thing that a lot of people were complaining some people were complaining about is that the graphics don't look as nice they don't look as next gen this bethesda is not known for doing witcher or or like second sun or stuff like that they're not that's not what they're known for they're known for fallout Skyrim, uh, those kind of graphics where the graphic doesn't the, the 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 character models are not necessarily flowing with hair and stuff like that. Like if we look at the models at the beginning there, uh, right? And we see like their hair is like it's stuck. It's stuck to them. They they don't have hair flow. Even the dog looks like one skin of hair that doesn't move. Like you see it more at the end there. Right after the explosion there. Like you see, there's no flow to his hair, but when you look at it a bit, they, they concentrate in more... The characters are not always their strong suit, but the graphics, like even the, the, here, the grass, you can see it in the HD video, that the grass all moving separately, and it looks nice. Let's go, pal. So yeah, one thing, one thing that Bethesda does, they have their own style of graphic design. And they don't, they don't, they, they, they don't concentrate on making super high polish HD video, uh, video games. Their, their graphics are nice. It's if honestly, me when I saw the this trailer, uh, I was really actually very surprised by the graphics themselves because they, I was expecting at least less. I, th I thought it was gonna look a little bit more graphically style like uh, New Vegas, 
but this is way much more than I thought it would look like, and this section looks nice. And this is all an engine, like I said earlier. So, of course, this is just the first trailer. This is just the first trailer of something we might see, like, full-on 40-minute demo at E3. So that's what I'm hoping, of course, because I'll be watching the live stream of that on the Sunday or Saturday, right before E3, the, f the day right before E3 starts. So, check, you can find that information at the E3 rubs website or whatever. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That's my breakdown of the Fallout 4 trailer. A trailer, a game I love so much. Um, just a backstory quickly. Fallout, Fallout was a game that I have never heard of before when I started playing Fallout 3. It's my, actually my brother that showed me the trailer for this and I got I was so amazed by it that I, I couldn't skip it. And ever since, it's usually b with right beside it's Fallout's always on one of the top games I play. It's always one of the games, and I'm I'm probably gonna stream it later this weekend just because I got I got I got Fallout fever right now, so I might keep I might play the New Vegas version, and uh, go on from there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully everything made sense. If you like this video, please hit click the like button. If you like the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Everyone helps. If if you enjoy the videos and you like my other videos, the Me Me Time Gamer Plays videos or my podcast or stuff like that you can always come check me out at twitch.tv forward slash me time gamer that's where i mostly concentrate my what i do i uh, play every video and right now i'm playing mostly the witcher and i think i played agario a couple of times so actually you can watch the video two videos or three videos ago where i finished first and i stayed first for about a good 20 30 minutes anyway that doesn't matter right now so hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, go check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash me time gamer. If I'm if I'm not there, you can always you can always uh, get in get in touch with me on Twitter at me time gamer. You can go check me out also. Uh, you can go also go on uh, me time gamer dot com. Uh, that's usually where I post the videos. Uh, it's basically my website where I post all the videos, all my affiliate links. If you guys want to help out the website. And then you can check it out on facebook.com forward slash me time gamer. Uh, I don't post as much there, but you guys can still go uh, hit that subscribe, uh, that like button. And uh, there is a Reddit page too, but I haven't done anything much there. So you can go check that out too if you want. Thank you so much. Keep it fresh, guys. See you in the next video and, and see you in the next stream.